Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to give you guys the updates and what to be expected. So I'm planning on starting a new segment or chapter, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, so lately I've been getting into micros and I just needed a more compact setup. And the type of goggles that I've been using were the box type goggles. I've never ever used the, you know, the, the fat shark type goggles. So I thought about it and I decided to take the plunge. Now, not just because I wanted a compact setup, but also I wanted to, I devised a way, I believe maybe to even record how you would see inside. That, that's just a completely different topic. Uh, this is not for sure yet. I still, it's just a basic theory in my mind, so I don't really want to discuss that. But the, the actual reason behind what motivated me to actually go take it, one, it's actually, I, I haven't seen anyone give a perspective, you know, who's been using box type goggles and then actually just switch to, you know, the fat shark goggles. So I'm getting the HD3s and um, I'm very curious. I have no idea what to expect. I hope they're good, you know. Uh, some people who've been using box type goggles are saying, you know, it's just it's just all blurry and it's just not good. So I, I don't know. I've never seen anyone who, I've, ne I've never known anyone in real life who had some, so I've never really tested those. So I have no idea how they look like inside. That's one thing, but the real reason why I actually went for them is because I've devised a PCB and a, and a way to actually test true latency of these uh, of the fat shark modules. Um, so right now I'm currently working on a PCB. It's, it's, it's a PCB which will the module will connect to and then that PCB will connect to the fat shark module, uh, the fat shark goggles, and then I can hijack the signals and I can do whatever I want with them. So I'm going to be measuring latency. So the new segment is measuring latency in, in my channel. Uh, but before we do that, we have to I have to measure a couple FPV cameras latency, and then we're going to measure the VTX latency, and then we can go to the module testing latency. Uh, just because so because you know everything has a, has some kind of latency. So we need to figure out the accurate, the most accurate uh, latency timing i guess that's what we should say i'm kind of, I'm kind of lost for words right now it's at the, yeah anyways <laughs> so we have to get the camera's latency then the vtx latency then we can go for the uh the module latency so we would subtract whatever is extra over these two latencies and then we can actually come up with the real latency or a very accurate or a pretty darn close accurate latency measurement uh, just because, you know, the phone thing doesn't work, you know, when you record it, that, that doesn't work because even your phone has latency, your camera has latency, your your app has latency, whatever is processing it, you know. And um, so we're actually just going to be hijacking the direct signals from these devices. Um, so I would probably open up, I, I could do this in two ways on FPV cameras, open it up and just tap, just, just actually uh, probe the ic chip itself that is where the video out is in and then we could see what's its true latency so this setup i've actually took an inspiration from another channel i never really thought of testing it that way but i really liked it and that channel is rc shim i'll leave a link down below um the inspiration the idea of how to test it came from him however i'm gonna add more upon that to actually get it uh, as accurate as possible because I think there could be some delay even in the way he's doing it because he's doing it with a switch and an LED and I think the LED does have latency from you clicking the switch to the LED so maybe we could use some uh, photo resistors or, or something so I'll figure that out I'll figure out the best setup with no delays to actually give us the most accurate measurements we could find online so that is my goal but uh, the overall testing method, I, I give him credit. I don't know who, who he got it from, but I got it from him. I saw his idea. I liked it. He's not really going after it full, fully, but he's, he's doing it. And, um, and uh, I really like that idea, but I want to build upon that idea and actually make it a little bit more uh, advanced and a little bit more accurate. So um, I love the guy. I like his channel. I just found it by, you know, by coincidence the other day. So uh, I didn't even know he existed, but yeah, so he's a cool guy. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, and uh, just another thing, his his oscilloscope is running at 60 megahertz and mine's at 200 megahertz. So uh, we should be good there. So that, that's going to be very interesting. And what else do we have? Um, that's really it, guys. Oh, yeah, for the modules and the cameras and everything, uh, it's going to take, you know, I only have, like, what, two cameras in the house right now. So I have a Foxy XAT600M. That's what I put on all my builds. And I have the Runcam Swift, which is annihilated. 
Um, but I don't know if it touched down. I'm, I haven't even checked it. I just don't want to check it just now. Uh, once I begin this, then I'll just take it off, replace the lens, and then check if it actually reached all the way down to the sensor. But I don't think it did, and I hope it didn't. But I just, I just don't want to get upset now, so I don't want to see it. <clears throat> now, for getting these products in, uh, I, have, I only have like two VTXs in the house because I just use the same VTX for everything. So I have two different VTXs. I have, um, I'm have i going to have the True D uh, version 3.5 Fat Shark module. And I'm trying to contact Banggood right now to actually send me some of the real AAC modules. Uh, just because I really can't keep buying all this stuff out. It's way too much. Um, so I'm going to be bringing them in, but nice and slow, very slow possibly. So um, that's just it's just going to take time. But, you know, we're going to start. I'm going to start with what I have. And then from there, hopefully we can take it to the next level. And if anyone has, you know, anything who wants to donate, uh, especially if you're in Europe, it'd be a lot cheaper cheaper for you. Uh, if you want to just, you know, just uh, send it to me for about a week to test it and then send it back to you, I have no problem. If I break it, you know, I will pay you for it or I'll buy you a brand new one. I have no problem in that. Um, it'll make my life a lot easier. <coughs> Excuse me. So... Um, you know, I'm, I'm, this is the goal, this is the plan, and, um, and I'm really trying to go at it and to go, you know, to get it as, mu as accurate as possible and as clean as possible set up. And I'm going to show you guys the process of how I'm going to be doing it, so uh, if, you, if anyone's interested in that. And, you know, and that's really it. If you guys would really like to see these things going through, if you guys, anyone, if you guys know people in these companies, and if you could talk to them and you know they don't they don't have to give me one they could just send it for like a week just for me to test it and i send it back i don't i don't need to keep all these modules i don't need to keep all these vtx's and all these cameras um i have enough things you know i, I don't need much more um so you know if anyone knows anyone that'd be great or if anyone you know if you guys would like to support the channel and you can just drop by patreon and be an awesome supporter of mine that'd be super great i'd be super thankful um it'll help me a lot to bring in more things in so uh still companies still i'm waiting for them to start sending me stuff uh let's just say maytech right now is actually sending me their vtx so that is very awesome of maytech their new vtx is coming out so it's, that one's going to be very interesting so we'll test its latency also <clears throat> and um we see how that works hopefully that'll be very interesting and uh and that's really it right now so um yeah and i wanted to thank you guys who just hit 2000 subs um, I'm working on a video, uh, it's a little DIY, DIY project, do-it-yourself project, and I think it's pretty interesting, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it, and um, it's just something different, you know. And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys, just wanted to update you guys, and just I, I just need you guys' opinions and comments and suggestions down below. If you guys have any ideas, feel free to let me know, I read all the comments, so uh, just let me know, and, um, and yeah, if you guys have any awesome ideas, I'm, I'm ready for anything, so... Um, yeah, and that's it guys. So that's gonna conclude it for this video guys. So take care. See ya and happy flying. See you guys